Honest, Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. Pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Honest Jay Nowak. So I feel like that many subjects around there that I tend to revolve every time I'm coming on here is that I've got so much to talk about, really. So it's just a wonder why I tend to bring up so many things in my life. But now, here's something else I probably would suppose that would just be a simple, common excuse just to have an episode like this up on the channel of mine that I got. I'm basically just talking about seasons. Seasons that include summer, fall, winter, and spring. Of course, it's just as simple as that. The pattern itself follows every consecutive year that follows. It starts with winter, as in the second half of winter, and then spring rolls around, then summer comes, fall arrives, and then it's back to winter. And then the end of the year comes, it starts off with winter again, and the pattern itself just follows along, like a super duper long chain linked up with four different colors. And of course, it's just that. We've gotten so used to this kind of pattern here, but I mean, with the fact that I've basically talked some parts about the environment that we currently have gotten and how its conditions have led to some horrible things out there within recent times, who knows exactly what would happen within 150 years from now. The environment itself would certainly cause a huge change in climate not just resulting from the immense levels of smog and the like, although there's a few other things about the environment I'd have to talk about at this point, I still really feel that the amount of seasons that we have every year could change in numbers. And it could also, well, change in terms of temperature value. We have already seen certain temperature changes that are super duper uncommon to occur in most months of the year. November had gotten pretty warm April and May have gotten much colder, and sometimes it's gotten even better. June had gotten colder at some point, and many other times we have gotten and taken effect that many seasons have gotten hotter and some seasons have gotten colder. It's almost like we're reversing, creating a chain reaction of some sort that probably could level our entire environment. And I know for sure that the environment itself, that we simply begin to do something horrible with it, such as when we release more pollutants into the atmosphere, or produce more greenhouse effects. But the thing is, is that seasons themselves, they have been the same for so long already. Yet, there's a good chance that within two centuries or so, we would see a huge change take place. The climates themselves have already changed drastically and immensely, and it's pretty much irreversible to this point. Emissions and the like really have leveled up our entire atmosphere or stratosphere. Basically all layers of this planet itself have practically been shrouded with pollution in some aspect. But most places we are still doing what we can to avoid contaminating the environment, contaminating the levels of oxygen that we need every single day. Of course, the thing is, is that trees out there, they happen to be combating most of this, but who knows what could happen. If they're all gone, then there's nothing left to help. I just can't really say too much else about the environment, aside from what I've already talked about, but there are going to be a few other things relating to environmental impact that I might touch up on later on. So... Seasons themselves have been pretty good. We were able to get used to them over time, coming every single year. But now that I see it, with the changes that we've already gotten within just 10 years, it's just no wonder why something horrible would happen later in life. And so, I feel like that's just probably enough. I'm probably going to talk about the environment for now. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, Follow me on social media and stay on the Hollywood side.